this okay is it? so long time no vlog I guess doing happy new year so today is actually orientation for Sac State um and I start at Sac State in the spring semester so school starts January 22nd and my orientation is today January 3rd um so I just have like a little light makeup on I only have like really literally just browns um oh my god look at my backpack guys isn't that cute just my butt I'm not wearing this I'll take this off um, but yeah so yeah I hope you guys are going to enjoy this vlog and this adventure we're going on today <laughs> um and yeah so basically my aunt is coming with me my aunt Selena is coming with me um to orientation So I won't be able to vlog as much because she doesn't want to be on the camera. But I will definitely try to record as much as I possibly can. I'm also recording on my phone because I forgot my camera at home. I'm at my aunt's house. So, oh, my friend turned off his light, you guys. Jesus. Oh, now you guys can see the backpack. So this is the Adidas backpack that I got from basketball camp for my church actually. And so I actually really like it. So it has like two water bottle pockets. So I have a water bottle in this pocket and I have a water bottle in that pocket. And then I just have um, paperwork I have to turn in for um, the military and stuff that I have to turn in today. Um, so I can make sure I get my, they pay for my classes and stuff. So yeah, oh also you guys, um, I got a new tattoo. But, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> oh, I made sure I have, like, a portable charger. Because not like me. Bruh, if my freaking phone would die halfway through orientation, and then I would be mad. What well, is funny, guys? This is actually the room I stayed in when um, I lived here for high school. <laughs> so, this is my room. Like, I don't care. It will always be my room. Uh, we're waiting for my other uncle to get here so that we can leave because we can't leave my uncle. Here. I am tough. So hopefully we leave on time. Well, do you wanna come up and start going up? Okay guys, so I'm obviously back home. Um Vlogging at orientation was a little bit just too hard for me because when I'm still used to vlogging around with other people that don't know that I'm a vlogger too. Um, it was so boring, you guys. Like literally, I would not have wanted to bore you guys. But I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about what happened, and like the experience that I had. I'm gonna show you guys my stuff that I got. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys. Um what I got today that was my orientation so I'm gonna look at shit on paperwork but I'll show you what's going on so I got um a planner which actually has like really cool stuff in it um so like it has I'm trying to open it sorry um like it kind of just shows like the um like how they do like their um graduation stuff so like how like get to so yeah um, I also I also got like a drawstring backpack that just says I feel it but I think that's downstairs so yeah this is actually mine but this looks just like that but green okay. I also got this shirt uh, okay. so the shirt just says Oh, just a second real estate. Okay. So, the shirt just says Sac State, our mascot, which is the Hornets, and then the year that this college was established, which is 1947. And that's what it says. And then, I also got this special. Oh my goodness. 
and it's just a green sweatshirt with um, gold letters, and it's actually stitched on it. Um, my aunt said she actually like look really looked for the sweatshirt because she wanted to buy me one that um, didn't have like the iron-ons. She wanted to find a stitch one. I actually really like this only because like the gold is kind of glittery, but I like it because it's like solid. Like, so I actually really like this sweatshirt. It's just plain sweatshirt. It has like you know, you know what I mean. You want to see the sweatshirt. And then, um, at the end of the they were like, oh, we have a gift for you. We have a gift. And I was like, okay. And so the gift was this. This was my gift. Freaking life plate cover. And it's plastic, so I don't, like, I don't know. Like, I'm not going to do anything with this. But I have that to do something with. And then... I also got this shirt, and I'm not going to lie to you, I have no idea how to pronounce this, and I have no idea what it says. Like, this word right here, this flagger's blast, flagger blast, I don't know. This, don't know what it says, don't know how to pronounce it, but it says 2016 here, but it says 17, so I think it's 2016-17 school year. Um, it says a burst of color, University of University Union, Sac State. And this is like the shirt that they gave me for free, with along with this nameplate. But she only gave me this because I asked for it. But they were only giving out these. I was like, "Oh, do you have a shirt instead?" She was like, "Oh, I have a shirt I can give you too." So I just took a shirt. And yeah, so that's all the stuff that I have. I'm actually really great. Like you know, I I'm really grateful that my aunt, um, you know, bought me that sweatshirt and that sh and the first T-shirt I showed you guys. Um, that was really nice of her. She didn't have to do that. And, um, I mean, I have fun, but you guys, literally, I just, like, I feel like because, like, my cousin goes to Sac State, and because, like, my friend, she works at Sac State, and, like, ever since I applied to Sac State, they've been telling me what I need to do, I kind of felt like I really need to go to orientation, because I kind of already knew what I was doing, like, a business whole point of orientation to register for your classes. And to like help you understand the registration process. Okay, so I like when I first got admitted to Sac State and then got my transcript for like the two classes that actually count towards like my degree. Um, because that's like with the matriculation agreement between my college and Sac State is two classes count for lower division, all of division classes you have to take there. So, um, I was just like, this is pointless. I've already played with this system. I already have my classes in my basket, okay? Literally, when, like, 3 o'clock, I was like, can I register my classes? Like, yeah, you can try. I said, bloop, 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 and I was done. Um, and, um, it was just, like, a really a waste of my time. But, I mean, I had fun. I had fun doing it. Oh, I even won, like, not really a raffle, but, um, I won, um, a t-shirt. But it says Sac State Orientation on it, and I'm like, I don't want to show this as Sac State Orientation. So I gave it to my aunt. Well, actually, my aunt asked if she could have it. I said, sure, whatever, I don't care. It was like a medium anyways. Couldn't fit it. I don't wear a medium. She wears a small, so I was like, here you go. Merry Christmas. Um, so, yeah. Um, I'm really sorry I didn't like, really was able to record orientation. But I will try to like add clips of just things that we did because I can do them on my own computer and without having to be in the Sac State area. We went on like a campus tour that was boring because I basically know where everything is on Sac State because I've been there so much. Like last semester, literally, guys, fall semester, I was literally there almost every other week. Literally. But whatever, it really paid off because I knew that's where I was going without the campus tour, you know, so that was good. And what else did I do today? Oh, the lunch you guys was actually really good. Like I don't know if you guys remember, but um I think I put my orientation from Cal Poly Pomona. I think I vlogged that. I'm not sure if I vlogged lunch or if I talked about lunch. But their lunch there was tragic. It was like a nasty ass burrito, okay, with beans in it. Like not everybody likes beans in their burrito. But that's beside the point. At Sac State, bruh, we had chicken caprice with ciabatta bread, a salad, and we got cute little mini baby desserts, like, bruh, they had, um, lemon squares. 
yeah, it was it was legit. So definitely like their lunch better. Um, I think like, their lunch was actually really long. It was from twelve thirty to two o'clock. That's a long ass lunch. Honestly, because after that, it was like literally we just went and talked about like our general ed requirements, about like what was required, what wasn't required, blah blah blah, blah. and then we talked about. And then from there, we just went straight to advising. And. Yeah. So, that's pretty much all that really happened at orientation. Um, it was a pretty chill day. Now I just have to wait till for school to start. I'm actually dual enrolled. I'm taking a class at community college still for my foreign language because I like like at my school you can either take a foreign language or you can take a humanities class. I took a humanities class because I really didn't want to take a foreign language. And if they would have told me that taking a foreign language was required at um university, I would have just taken the foreign language. So now I'm like having to backtrack and take a foreign language now. So I'm taking my foreign language now so that I can finish and then if I end up really liking my, um, this upcoming semester is to get a 3 point, well actually my goal this semester is to get a 4.0, but I will be fine with a 3.5 or a 3.0 as long as I get all these in my classes. So, uh, y'all pray for me for that, which is why on my vision board plug for up, for my video that's coming up. Um, actually, my, that video should be up before this video, never mind. All my, you know, my vision board, I actually put it up right here, see? Um, colleges, like college for my grades. That's why it's up there. So, yeah. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog, even though literally it was just me talking to you guys. It's like a small clip of me sitting down listening to like this smart planner um, lady talk to me. Um, yeah, that's about it. And I will talk to you guys in the next one, which will probably be the first day of school for Sac State. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoy and follow me on this journey of transferring from community to four year. And if you guys are transfer students or are about to be like transfer students, transferring from a four year from a two year to a four year, you know, follow me. Let's go on this journey together. And I'm hope and like hopefully I can like be able to listen to you guys. I'm thinking about doing a series about um like how it is to transfer and like how to like go about that because a lot of people don't know and I feel like um community colleges like they want you to like they want you to leave at the same time they want you to stay because I feel like I have a lot of friends that are like are like I just don't know why it takes me so long to graduate from um a two-year college I should have been done in two years like like even me like I should have been done in two years like honestly I probably could have done if I had it like messed around and like this I wasn't supposed to be doing but I did and I'm like that, that's okay but I think I really want to help people that are like me and help them realize that like you know what they can do how they and how to like go from point A to point B to get to their ultimate goal which might be like a BA or like a master's or anything like that because you know I am planning on going to law school and once I get there y'all we, we can have that conversation but for now we're only talking about my BA but um yeah don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also don't forget to hit the bell so you guys get notified every time I post a video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!